What's up guys and welcome to the PC build for the month of March. Is it just me or is time moving a little too fast? Um, so this month's budget is gonna be focused on the $700 price or 35,000 pesos which is in the range of mid to high end. So what is $700 gonna get you? A killer system that's perfect not just for 1080p gaming but also 1440p as long as you keep the graphic settings from medium to high at most for modern AAA titles that is. A decent and reliable video editing PC that will be able to handle some multi-credit workload with ease with some feature expandability. Okay, um, let's get it! As always, all the parts will be from DynaQuest PC but for people outside the Philippines, you can find some awesome deals on Amazon and New Egg. So the CPU we're gonna be using is the Intel i5 7500 for 10470p. Now I know I know Ryzen 7 just dropped dude. Mind you that the budget is $700 so obviously we're not gonna be spending almost half of it on the CPU. So as for the 7500 you have a lock quad core CPU clock at 3.4 gigahertz on the base clock and turbos up to 3.8 gigahertz with a 6 megabyte cache. Probably the best bang for your buck CPU right now not just for gaming but also for video editing as well. For the motherboard, we have the Gigabyte B250M HD3 for just 4300. Nothing too crazy but will definitely get the job done. So you have a motherboard that supports up to a Kaby Lake i7, 32 gigs of DDR4 memory, an M.2 slot which supports Intel's latest Optane technology which is basically an NVMe SSD on steroids which is also not available at the moment. And you have 6 SATA 3 ports for all the storage you're ever gonna need. For the graphics card, we have a 4GB XFX RX 470 for 9700. Now, if you don't believe me that the RX 470 can handle 1440p at medium to high settings, 50 to 60 FPS on AAA titles, then you should go watch this video of Greg from Salazar Studios showing that the RX 470 dubbed the 1080p sweet spot is also a very capable 1440p card for a low price, especially with AMD's latest Crimson Driver. For memory, we have a single 8 gig stick of Corsair Vengeance LPX clock at 24. 400 MHz for 3120. For storage, as always, we have a 1TB Western Digital Blue Hard Drive for 2350. For the power supply, we have a Seasonic M12 to 520 Watt 80 Plus Bronze Fully Modular Power Supply. So expect a clean looking system. Well, that depends on you, of course. An efficient power supply that's also sufficient for future expandability. And the housing all this is the Thermal Take Versa H15, which is one of the best budget cases you can get right now. So you have a mid tower case which supports micro ATX and ITX motherboards, a big side panel window to show your build which again depends on your cable management, plus an included 120mm exhaust fan at the back. So all in all, rounding our total cost to $697 or 34,880 pesos. Also, an optional part is an SSD. If you have an extra $50 to spend, which is definitely appreciated in a modern system. So that's gonna do it. A killer budget 1440p and video editing rig for just a little under $700. So leave a comment on what you could have done with a $700 budget or maybe what you could have changed in this month's build. Also, I'll be leaving a vote poll up here on what price you guys want for next month's build. So leave a like, share, and consider subscribing, and bookmark and use my Lazada affiliate link when buying at Lazada as a way to support my channel. And if you don't mind donating at all, I'll also leave the link to my Patreon which you can find in the description down below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.